Hello and welcome to Bubble Dome Unity tutorial number one. Uh, we're just going to uh, look at making a very basic game. And don't forget when you create your um, new open Unity, there are some excellent video tutorials that you can go through that teaches you all uh, the basics. If you do get stuck, there is uh, Unity Basics here and the forums if you do really get stuck. Now we're just going to go straight ahead and uh, do a Bubble Dome specific rugby tutorial here. We're going to make a little game and we're going to learn some of the basics as we go. Um, now if we look at the middle window here you'll see that there are um, the 3D view. If you hold the right mouse button down you can move yourself around and um, if you use W, A, S and D you can scroll around just like it's a first person shooter. Be careful when you're using the scroll wheel because it's the zoom rather than the move so you can get things a little bit confused. You can see there's a camera in the middle here um, if I click the object right here um, that will select it and if I press F you can zoom to that specific object. Now one handy um, extra is holding the ALT key down. If you hold the ALT key and the left mouse you can orbit around um, any selected object. Um, it's quite handy if you need to select. Now we'll go through a little bit of the windows here. If I've got this object selected, the camera in the middle, you can see in the hierarchy view over to the left um, you can see that the, the main camera is highlighted, that's the main camera that we have here. Um, this lists everything that's in your current scene. Uh, the project panel lists all the files that you might use and at the moment my project is completely empty. I didn't import any assets when I created the project. On the right hand side is the inspector panel and this shows you the uh, name of the object and a few of its components that go up making it. Now the transform component is basically the position if you wanted to you could easily just type a number in to each of those and you'd see the uh, effects happen straight away in the scene. Now um, what we're going to do just now just so we can get the hang of the interface is we're going to add in a new game object. Now the game object menu up here is where you'll find everything that you can add all the basic um, building blocks. Um, if you go down the list till you get to cube uh, under create other you click on cube and you'll see a, a cube gets made in the scene. And we can uh, introduce the, the ways of uh, manipulating these objects. Now if we look up on the left hand side, at the top we'll see the, the different widgets that we can use. The move, um, the rotate and the scale. And you'll see the widgets change as you do them. And each of these, if you drag the, any particular one, you'll see the effect happen straight away. If you hold your mouse, left mouse over the uh, one in the middle, the uh, box in the middle, you'll see it happens relative to the camera and it's the same for rotate. You can use any of these um, round widget ones and for the scale it's the cubes that we can pull up. Uh, just like any computer program, remember that Control Z will undo any of the changes you've made so you can get it back to the way you wanted it. Um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to scale this up to make ourselves a little bit of a ground. So if we um, look on the transform in the inspector, we can just type in a number that we want for the scale. And we're just going to scale this by 100 in the Y and in the Z to give us a nice big ground. And uh, which allows us to look at the uh, next part. Um, if we click on camera, you'll see a little camera preview appears down here. Um, if we click on game, we see the same thing. Uh, ours is a little bit dark right now. So I'm going to add in a new light. So we we'll click on game object, create other, and choose directional light. And I'm just going to have to rotate that light around a little bit so it lights my scene. And let me just drag it up too. Um, so now if I look through the camera, it, sees, it looks a little bit brighter. And if I want to see the game in action, I can simply click on the play up top and that will play the game in this window. If you want it maximized, you can click this and it will make it full size or full window. Um, click and play again gets you back into the editor. Now all we're going to do is uh, just so we can see things in action I'm going to get you to add in another cube. So click game object, create other cube and we're going to position this cube out in front of the camera and we're going to make sure that we can see it. So click on game you, see, you, can, you can see that it's there and um, what we're going to do is we can see all the components that are attached to this object. We're going to add a new component in. 
if we just go into component and we choose physics and rigid body that will add a physics rigid body to this component which will allow us to um, to give it physical properties so we can choose what mass and drag and a few other bits and pieces that we don't need right now um, by pressing play you'll see that the scene comes alive the physics will act on that cube and it will drop to the ground and hit the, uh, the cube that we put down there just to see it a little better I'm going to rotate it a, a little bit a couple of different ways and uh, just press play again and we'll see it in action it should bounce as it hits the ground and roll so there we have it that's uh, more or less the basics of the interface creating um, game objects adding components um, and getting ourselves ready for um, moving on to making some kind of game